So, some shortcuts regarding to the entrance examinations. See, so far we have discussed the three formulae. Third formula is known as C. We do know the third formula. What is the third formula? f of x plus delta x approximately equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x. This is the formula we know that. So, what is the use of this formula? How can we apply, how do we apply in various engineering entrance examinations or how to crack the problems that is very very important. So, better you can remember the formula no doubt at all, but how do we actually apply this formula let us see. So, first one suppose if you want to find out any approximate trigonometric values either it may be sin or cos or tan you see suppose instead of f sin write of sin of x plus delta x approximately equal to here f of x means sin x write down. What is the sin x derivative? You know already in my differentiation part I have discussed sin x differentiation is cos x into delta x that is all. Now, easily you can write now what is the value of cos of x plus delta x approximately equal to here cos x cos x derivative is minus sin x into delta x. Okay. Suppose, if you want to find out tan of x plus delta x, tell me you might have understood, you might have noted down your notes, what is tan of x plus delta x? Yes, you are right, this is tan x plus secant square x into delta x. Similarly, in trigonometric ratios we can write suppose if you want to find out any logarithmic value also base e log x plus delta x log x base e plus log x differentiation is 1 by x into delta x. Suppose if you want to find out uh, some e power x plus delta x approximate value e power x e power x derivative e power x into delta x am I correct. <coughs> Suppose if you want to find out root x this is very very important the square root of any value can be evaluated using this shortcut this may be used in your physics examination also in entrance examinations sometimes you have to use you are not allowed to use the calculators even with the help of this one you can find out approximate value of the square roots. The root x is approximate value root x plus differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x am I correct into delta x. So, similarly nth root of x approximately equal to nth root x what is the differentiation of nth root x? That is 1 by n plus x to the power of 1 by n minus 1 into delta x. So, like that we can find out the approximate values using this shortcut formula f of x plus delta x approximately equal to f of x plus f dash x delta x under this one these 7 or more also you can remember. Okay, I hope you might have understood. Okay, next, the next concept let us come to the relative error, relative error. What is relative error? That is very important. So, relative error means suppose this relative error is given by delta y by y. This is called relative error in x sorry relative error in y relative error in y.
रिलेटिव एरर इन एक्स डेल्टा एक्स बाई एक्स नेक्स्ट वन इज वी हैव परसेंटेज एरर परसेंटेज एरर परसेंटेज एरर सो वॉट इज द परसेंटेज एरर मीन्स परसेंटेज एरर इज इक्वल टू रिलेटिव एरर इन टू हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई रिलेटिव एरर विथ हंड्रेड वी गेट परसेंटेज एरर सो दैट मीन्स हियर यू रिमेंबर अंडर दिस परसेंटेज एरर इन वाई इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा वाई बाई वाई इन टू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज एरर इन एक्स दैट इज डेल्टा एक्स बाई एक्स इन टू हंड्रेड ओके so while solving the problems regarding to this chapter so we have to remember some mensuration formula so let us recall those formula the first let us come to the circle the first one is circle so this is the circle suppose so radius r center is a circumference suppose circumference you say p is equal to 2 pi r area is equal to pi r square area of the circle suppose let x be the diameter of the circle then once again perimeter becomes 2r is the pi x here area becomes pi by 4 x square where x is the diameter here r is the radius here r is the radius so next let us come to the after square suppose square this is square each side is x then perimeter p is equal to 4x area area is side into side x square so diagonal suppose this will be x using pythagoras theorem x square plus x square root 2x so diagonal d c this is root 2x where x is the side so next cylinder so three dimensional figure so this is the base radius this is also base radius this will be the height say h this r next we have lateral surface area lateral surface area is equal to 2 pi r h total surface area 2 pi r h plus this circle whole square sorry the area of this circle plus the area of this circle 2 pi r square 2 pi r common r plus h next third one is volume of the cylinder this is pi r square h area of the base into height this is pi r square into height 
So, V is equal to pi r square h. Cone. This is the cone. So, height base radius this r h l this will be theta semi vertical angle here lateral surface area pi r l total surface area pi r l plus pi r square pi r common r plus l next volume of the cone v is equal to one third of pi r square h this is a cone 